between arguably one of the franchise tag teams of global professional wrestling and CSW's hottest brand new tag team that is undefeated, the Prince of Pro Wrestling, TJ Steele, his sister, Kinza, and the superstar of Chicago Star Wrestling, the POC superstar, Steve Boz. Ivan Manson is a hardcore brawler. What can we expect when Manson locks up with Steele in this struggle? This is a very, very unique battle. You'll only find a GPW and the power man with the explosiveness. Jacked, stacked, and built to last. TJ Steele, the Prince of Pro Wrestling, push Ivan Manson backwards. Not too many could say that they've done that. And Manson's tired of playing around. He's just gonna swing those huge arms of his over and over again as he takes down Steele once, takes him down again. It's Manson rolling the ring with a big avalanche in the corner. TJ Steele with no answer. It, this is Manson's world. And there's only one way to survive, and that's to win this tag team clash right here. What a slingshot from the outside to the inside with a backsplash. TJ still in trouble, and superstar Steve Boz interrupts the count. Manson trying to weaken TJ still along that middle rope. And overall, the hobo prince Bugs Moran is trying very, very hard to support the family missions, to support Charlie Turner, to bring the noise, and this is our first chance to see him as he elevates in the air with the great train, Lion Soul takedown, and again, Steve Boz has to interject and stop the madness. That must be quite a box car. Did you see that vertical leap? Lots of enthusiasm bursting at the seams to be a part of GPW, his debut in tag team action for Bugs Moran is here tonight in Global Pro Wrestling. And Steve Boz is now legal in this match for the first time as Bugs Moran with a nice arm drag takedown has sort of neutralized the BOC temporarily, but Boz has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He's a veteran of the ring. He's been through everything. Wow, spinning head scissors by Bugs Moran. This young man's got some talent, he's got some hops, he's got some skill, and he can take his body and invert it inside out. Boz is struggling here. The Bruce Brothers, I have met their match here tonight, considering what's at stake. Wait a minute! That wasn't legal! Still wasn't tagged in the ring. He clobbered Moran from behind before Boss hit the DDT. Charlie Jr. always has a trick up his sleeve. Uh, and the, the box car yielded results, you can say that. Boss finally trying to choke Moran in the middle of the ring. Invaders and crewers from CSW are here in Global Professional Wrestling. They have defeated the Rage in their parts. They did it, defeated Slambino's a freak show. These two, Boz and Steele, had a feud against one another in 2018. They went back and forth, and Kimzilla nearly imploded, and she begged and she pleaded that somebody's got to stop the madness between Boz and Steele, and eventually Kimzilla came up with a plan. Use their strengths together as one, and maybe that will impress, and that will get some individuals' attention. And guess what? These two together as a team have been a brilliant combination. But let's put, let's put everything into perspective. Steve Aaron and CSW, these guys are gods. They are heroes in GPW, totally the opposite. Two of the most hated men to ever step in a GPW ring here tonight. And the family are protect, protecting GPW interests. So why you clap for CSW, I'll never know. It's good for business, Steve Kett. When it comes down to it, you gotta take care of your assets. Spinning neck breaker, that's one of TJ Steele's go-to moves, a setup for a TKO neck breaker, a running punting kick, or a spear later on. And TJ Steele has so many weapons in his arsenal to slow down the competition. And the speed of the tandem of the family here, Bugs Moran, has been neutralized as TJ Steele trying to hold down the smaller man. 
But Bunch Moran's not giving this up. Muscle up tough guys bringing the noise to global professional wrestling. And Manson has only a very small sliver of patience. Maybe the size of a fingernail of patience. And he is about to erupt on Kevin Woods. He's about to erupt on BOZ and TJ Steele in this situation. And who knows? Maybe Charlie Jr. will get physically involved with Kim Zilla in this hole. Oh, what an uppercut. BLC. Oh, him in the next week. BLC is very sudden with his strikes. You don't know where they're going to come from and at what time. And he's very, very precise with every single attack. He hits the leg drop. And again, Boz making light of the fact that his competition does not have the experience to handle the pressure of being in this environment. Boz has the confidence, he has the ego, the experience, the physical condition. He is a trainer of future stars and he can physically dissect his opponents literally just by staring at him. That's the kind of skill that BOC possesses. They are playing the family like a harp, using the referee as a decoy. Double team clothesline, Bugs Moran has had virtually no offense in the past several moments of this match, and if he doesn't get out of this ring, he's gonna be toast at the hands of these two muscle-bound tough guys that represent the hotheads of CSW in this struggle. Sit down, Joel Bob. Bob and Manson had to break it up. He barely was able to step between the ropes and booted TJ Steele to stop it all from happening. The first. power of the Bruise Brothers is unmatched. He got him! Quick roll up by Moran and he almost held down Steele for the three count. TJ Steele, one of the hottest commodities in all of wrestling right now. Franchise player everywhere that he goes, but when you talk about franchise players, in terms of Chicago style wrestling, it is Steve Boz, and that has not changed. Big pick up. Nice spike DDT. He needs a tag in the worst way, Ken. Moran has dropped. TJ Steele and the family have a chance to be number one contenders here. The most animated battle we've seen at GPW tonight is taking place right here. Who's going to be the It's a runaway freight train in here. No one's gonna stop him. He took the clothesline. And Boz absorbs the jawbreaker. That's Manson's signature move. Boz is gonna be beaten. No, TJ Steele barely breaks up the pinning attempt at the last minute. Boz Moran has entered. He's the illegal man. Both illegal men are now in this situation. The referee's losing total control. And Moran got clothesline over the top to the floor. Now the family is against two on one odds in the ring, but another jawbreaker! What a shot! If Manson's gonna win this match by himself, he'll do it! He'll do it under his terms, under his circumstances! Oh, come on! A cheap shot! He just leveled Manson between the legs! He shot that right arm upwards between his legs! And now the Bruce Brothers working together! A tag team! Spirit clothesline! The Bruce Brothers have moved on! They're going to face the tag team champions down the road! The Bruce Brothers have successfully made their debut at GPW victorious! <laughs> sent out of the ring like yesterday's newspaper and the Bruce brothers aren't done. They're trying to rub it in. You already did enough damage to Manson with the low blow. The spear of the clothesline tandem. And once holds the hands up of guess who? The Bruce brothers at the end. Ah, the fix was in, Aaron. I don't think these two deserve to win. We didn't bring them in to look pretty. We brought them in to challenge the masses and challenge they did. The
Goldblum. Spirit close on combo. 